America's deadliest animal doesn't have big claws, sharp teeth, or venomous fangs. Surprisingly, 150 people die each year due to collisions with deer and other large animals. Our rural mountain community in Arizona is no different. Our class decided to construct a low-cost detection system which would warn drivers if an animal approaches the road. Although it's not a new idea, the current systems are extremely costly and do not address the widespread need. Our research led us to Jeff Gagnon. He's a state biologist with the Arizona Game and Fish. He's a pioneer in the field of animal detection and road crossing systems. In a video conference with him, he spoke of his work and advised us on our project. To organize such a complex effort, we divided our project into sections. We are the software hardware team. We have the task to select the components, design prototypes, and code the microcontrollers. So to start, we have our light sensor here, and during the day it turns off the Arduino, but at night, when the motion sensor is triggered, it sends a signal to our microcontroller, which relays that to the radio. And the radio sends a signal to all the rest of our microcontrollers telling them to strobe the light sensor towards the one that was triggered. We are the design team in charge of 3D computer design. Our job was to design the circuit board, laser engrave the design, and acid etch the copper. We also drill and solder together all components. Our team was given the huge task of fabrication. Original parts were 3D printed and molded with silicone. Additional parts were rapidly made by pouring plastic resin into the mold. On a field trip, we watched a local machinist cut metal parts we needed with a water jet cutter. He then used his CNC mill to automatically drill and tap each piece. Plexiglass windows were laser cut and then shaped using an improvised plastic heat bender made of a battery charger, rubber bands, and nichrome wires. Our final product is weather resistant easy to install, and cost less than $40. Controlled testing was done with livestock in a pasture near our school. With further development, we believe our animal detection system will not only prevent animal collisions in our community, but across the nation. It will save the lives of people and the precious wildlife.